Here's a uh, Atlas grip tester. Great graphics here on the uh, on the cabinet. The machine's been completely restored, and uh, these uh, Atlas grip testers were manufactured in the 1930s. They were extremely popular in their day. Uh, this particular machine, again, has been restored and is uh, in perfect working order. All of the graphics have been uh, faithfully reproduced and uh, are on the machine. Very clever idea. They had a uh, numerical scale and uh, on the left and right hand side there were guidelines for, based on age, what number you should have been able to reach based on if you were a uh, male or a female. So this would encourage people as they were walking by to, uh, to check the machine out and to uh, drop a penny in. Very, very successful machine. Um, there were other machines like this made by uh, Gottlieb and by Mercury Athletic uh, that would come later. But uh, this, uh, the Atlas machines are the uh, really the nice early specimens that are uh, highly sought after. Let's go ahead and play it. We uh, take a penny and drop it in. The, if we try and squeeze it, we can't uh, register anything unless we drop a penny. And once we drop a penny in the slot, as we squeeze, we get up to about 175 there. And that's it. Now if we try it again, we can uh, see if we can get the bell to ring. That should be uh, up above 200, I think. There's this. There we go. There's that nice gong going off and letting everybody around know that uh, you're a strong man or a strong woman. So, again, a uh, 1930s Atlas grip tester.